Customers like the convenience of Wi-Fi when they're visiting your business. You want happy customers, but you also want to keep your internal company resources protected from them. In this first of a two-part episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll create a guest Wi-Fi network on a Cisco Business Wireless CBW deployment using a separate VLAN for guest users. Next. I'll jump right in by giving you an overview, showing the topology I'll use for this demonstration. The internet connection has been terminated on the router. The router is connected to a Cisco Business 350 switch where CBW access points are deployed. The primary access point has wireless controller capabilities. It is connected to the switch along with the other access points, all part of my CBW deployment. On the CBW network, the internal user and guest user are connected wirelessly. One internal local area network, LAN, user is also connected to the switch via ethernet. To begin, you need to create a new VLAN on a router for the guest Wi-Fi users. To do this, log into the user interface of the router, navigate to the LAN menu on the left panel, and select VLAN settings. By default, VLAN 1 is already on the router. The IP address assigned on that VLAN interface in this scenario is 192.168.1.1 with a slash 24. A dynamic host configuration protocol, DHCP, server is enabled for the VLAN 1 network pool and internal LAN users are connected. To add the VLAN for guest Wi-Fi users, click on the Add button and enter a VLAN ID. I'll select two and name the VLAN guest. When a new VLAN is created on this router, inter-VLAN routing is enabled by default. Disable the inter-VLAN routing on the guest VLAN to restrict the network traffic propagation to another VLAN. Disable device management for the guest VLAN. You don't want to provide device management access to the guest users. Enable the DHCP server on your guest network so that once the Wi-Fi users get connected to this network, they'll get an IP address automatically. Click Apply. VLAN 2, my guest VLAN, is now created on this router. VLAN 1 is untagged, and VLAN 2 is tagged on all LAN ports on this router, from LAN port 1 to LAN port 8. Click on the blinking Save button on the top of the screen and click Apply to save the settings. Click OK. Now, to configure the VLANs on the switch, log into the user interface of your switch. Navigate to VLAN management and then VLAN settings. Click on the Add VLAN button to add your guest network, in my case, VLAN 2. Enter the VLAN ID and name it Guest. I'll click on the Apply button and then close this window. VLAN 1 also comes on this switch by default. Since I need to allow VLANs 1 and 2 on the router and the access point connected ports, I'll need to configure those switch ports in trunk mode. To do this, I'll navigate to the interface settings and choose port number 1, which is connected to the router. Click on the Edit button, select the interface VLAN mode as Trunk, and click Apply. Do the same configuration where access points are connected. In my case, that's ports 5 and 7. Click Apply and close this window when finished. I can see ports 1, 5, and 7 are now configured as trunk ports. Navigate to the Port VLAN Membership menu to confirm the operational VLAN status on your ports. It shows VLAN 1 as untagged and VLAN 2 as tagged on those three switch ports. Next, it's time to configure the CBW access point. Once logged in, navigate to Wireless Settings and then the WLANs menu. Here, one WLAN network is configured with the name internal underscore Wi-Fi for internal Wi-Fi users. I will click on the Add New WLAN slash RLAN button to create a new WLAN for the guest wireless users. The WLAN ID will get populated automatically with the next number available. In this example, it shows as 2, since this is the second WLAN I'm creating here. I'll use the profile name as guest underscore Wi-Fi. 
the SS ID will get auto-populated with the profile name. I'll keep that the same. Navigate to the WLAN Security tab. Enable the guest network and keep the other settings the same. The access type will be Local User Account. Under the VLAN and Firewall tab, the Client IP Management will be External DHCP Server, as I'm using a DHCP server in my router for VLAN 2. I'll choose the Use VLAN Tagging as Yes and enter the VLAN ID as 2. For this example, I will not touch the traffic or scheduling settings. Click on the Apply button. You can see that my guest underscore Wi-Fi WLAN has been created. For the last step in this first video, you need to create the WLAN users. Under Wireless Settings, select WLAN Users. Click on the Add WLAN User button. Enter a username. I'll enter Guest1, the password, and the confirmed password. Make sure your Guest User option is enabled. Optionally, you can provide the description. Click Apply and repeat the process to create another user. I'll name this one Guest2. Enable the Guest User toggle, enter the password, confirm the password and description, and click Apply. Repeat as needed. When complete, click on the red Save icon on top of the screen to save the settings on your CBW access point. Click OK. Great. You're well on your way. The next video will get you to the finish line. Click the link in the description to see the next steps. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.